Hey everybody, this is Scotty with Sketches Garage. Today we're working on the turd mugger. Uh, we're going to take a look at it. Uh, we took it out to the track this weekend, Friday night to be exact, uh, for its first time out. Um, like I say, it's pretty much well everything's bone stock. We got the best of an 875. Um, this thing's hacked together pretty much with all junkyard parts. But we wanted to do a budget build. And that's got us in at about, I think, $4,100, somewhere in there. But that's basically everything. If you didn't have anything at all to start off with, just basically you had $4,100 in your pocket, you could replicate this car basically any time with no problems at all. So I call it basically like a real-world build. Um, the car been sitting for 30 years, as many of you know. Uh, we just pulled it out of the cow, cow pasture, got her going again. So uh, the initial the initial purpose of the build is to try to run 690s for $6,900. I asked you guys out there what you wanted to, to build. You guys said start with a big block and a three-speed. So we put a big block and a three-speed in it. Um, we got it going. We got our baseline. Now I need you guys' help. Um, I'm going to give you four options to choose from on what to do next. Um, popular vote by Thursday morning, or Thursday at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Popular vote. We'll choose that. Uh, the four things I'm going to give you an uh, option of. Do we want to shed some weight off the car? Do we want to work on the ignition system? Do we want to work on the fuel system and the carburetion? Or do we want to do suspension work? Some shocks and springs and stuff like that. Um, I will say one thing, we're going to fix the A-arm. We'll probably go ahead and put bushings in both of them. It was a little sketchy on the big end, had a little bit of a death wobble to it. So we're definitely going to take care of that. But I'm, I'm putting it out there to you guys. What do you guys want to do first? You want to tackle the ignition, the fuel, uh, shed some weight or some suspension. So just let us know in the comments below. Uh, I'll go over with you guys right here. All we got for ignition system right now is a stock HEI and some wore out plug wires. See these right here? They're, they're all busted up and they was arcing across each other at the races, causing a little bit of a misfire. So that definitely needs addressed. And then our fuel system is nothing more than a stock fuel pump and an old Elderbrock carburetor. So I know we ain't getting peak performance out of that. As far as the weight goes, the Chevelle, it's heavy. Uh, there's a few areas we could lose some weight on this. And then the suspension. The suspension, basically everything's stock. The only thing that's not stock on it is it's got adjustable upper control arms on the back. And uh, we went with those just because of the ease of changing the pinion angle, and we already had them. So you guys think about it. Uh, put your vote down in, in the comments below. Let us know. And on Thursday, say you guys choose fuel system. I'll give you four options to choose from that. And then um, popular vote will win that. And then we'll take it to the track and test it. And you can see what you guys chose. The benefit. And basically the bang for the buck. That you get out of it. Um, all this stuff is real time. Like I said, last, last week we built the car. And basically updated the video every night or every other night. And it will be the same thing with this. Is uh, Every time we make a decision, we'll take it to the track that week. We'll show you what it the what it did for us and then you can make a decision for your project on which way to take it i uh, thank everybody for watching uh please like share and subscribe and you'll have a good one all right everybody i decided to give you guys a little bit of bonus footage uh this right here is the motor that came with the car i'm assuming it was the motor that was racing with it um, to look at it, it's got stock pistons and stuff in it. I'm saying it probably does have a cam in it. 
it's got oil restrictors in the back of the motor and then uh, the car came with some double hump heads that was off so I don't know if they had a problem with the heads or blew a head gasket or what put them down they was a little bit proud of the motor because they greased all the cylinders up real good so I'm assuming the bottom end isn't hurt we're gonna go ahead and pull it apart uh, fix it up pop said he'd like to maybe go through it re-ring it and stuff and put it back in the car and see what this thing was running should be pretty close to what it was running back in the day uh, what do you guys think about that idea you think it'd be pretty cool think it outrun the, the stock big block we put in it or you think we uh, just be wasting our time let us know in the comments below thanks for watching